Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be reviewing and creating a look with the products that was sent to me from this company right here. Now they did provide me with a code if you are interested in purchasing any of the products which is going to be listed on the screen as well as down below in the description with their link of course. And anyways, so let's go ahead and get started with this look. All right, so before we get started with the look, we're gonna go ahead and see what's in the box and see what we're working with to create the look. So this is the box, that style, that Vena, Vena, I think that's how you say it. That is what they sent me, and let's go ahead and see what we got in here. We have a face wrapping mask with collagen solution. And clearly, um, this is not makeup, but I love my mask, so I'm thrilled about that. We've got Coringo Cosmetics. This is Cherry Boss Blossom Water Light BB Cushion. So this is kind of like a, a foundation. So let's look at it. It looks like it has a refill right here. I think that's what it is. It feels, it feels like that's what it is. And then this is what the container looks like and the inside here it's got this i'm going to go ahead and try to use that as the applicator and that is the inside we're going to pull that off and that is what that looks like i'll be swatching these products as i use them so if you're interested in that just just wait for when i actually apply it the next thing they sent is some glitter liner. This is from Matt Queen, New York. This is Julie, Jewel Poten glitter liner. Okay, so the liner that they sent me is in shade Grind Crystal, and that is what it looks like. Next thing we got here is an eyebrow pencil right here. This is from, I think this is the same brand, the um, Mac, Mac, was it Mac? I don't know, but anyways, this is the eyebrow pencil. And you've got the pencil on one end and the brush on the other. And the next thing they sent is this Misha 4D Mascara. It is, I believe it's black. But anyways, that's, that's the mascara that we'll be using from them. Then we've got a eyeliner. This is, I can't see what color it is. This is also Met Queen New York. So this is what that looks like. And the last product they sent me is Bare Lips in shade 3 Murky. And that is the packaging. This is a kind of like a tinted balm. So let's go ahead and look at the shade. And that is what the shade looks like. All right, so because this video is focused more on the products that Style Vena um, sent me to review. I there are a few products that they didn't send me that I will need to complete the look. I will tell you what those products are, but I'm not going to give you as in depth that I usually do. I'm going to focus on these and give you my full review of what I think of these products that they sent at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already put some primer on my eyes and my face and a little bit of concealer so we are going to go right in to this BB cushion thing I'm really not sure I've never used anything like this before so let's let's see how it applies okay so um I put my finger on it it does look like that so let me let me swatch it and see what happens okay so this is this is a very interesting product. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it, but you can see right there on my hand, we'll sort of see. It's pretty close to my natural color, so I expect good things.
so we've got the foundation, our BB cream on the face, BB cushion cream. I have mixed feelings about it, but I'll, I'll go over that later. Um, we are going to move on to the eyebrow and we are of course using the pencil that they sent. So we are moving on to shadow and I'm going to use the Fill Up Orange Palette. This is by Touch of Soul. They are a Korean brand, but this is a palette I've had and it's actually pretty nice. So we are going to use um, this white shade, this shade, and this shade for the eyeshadow. And that is pretty much it. That is all I'm going to do. Okay, so I am going to use some under shadow. I am going to stick with just that color and that color under the eyes. Okay, so now we are going to use the glitter liner under the eyes. I think I'm going to skip the dark um, liner and just use it on top and just use the glitter on the bottom. So yeah, we're gonna use a glitter liner on the bottom right now. So there's the glitter liner and I'm really liking it because once I put the mascara on it's really going to make my eyes pop and just sparkle a little bit. So we are moving on to the liquid eyeliner. This is waterproof and we are going to line the top of my eyes with it. liner is on we are moving on to the mascara and this is the Misha one that they sent So the eyes are finished. They did not send me any blush or contour or any highlight. So I am going to use this palette right here for all three and do that now. I'm going to 
do a light dusting of setting powder with Private Society just to smooth it out. That's it. Not really to do anything else. Okay, now we're going to use the lip color that they sent, which is the uh, Bare Lips Want You. Let's see what color this is. Original, I think it says. I don't know. It's actually not English at all, so I don't know. But um, I think it's murky. I think that's what it was. So this is the lips we'll be, lip color we'll be using. This is a uh, tinted blonde, so let's go ahead and apply. Right, I am just gonna use a little bit of um, setting spray. I, of course, am using ColourPop Pretty Fresh just because it will help maintain a nice, fresh, dewy look. Let's go ahead and talk about the products. Look, of course, is finished. So the first thing I used was the BB Cushion Cream. Now, it felt, it was kind of weird for me because I've honestly never used anything like this. So when I took the applicator and I put it on my skin, let me show you this, because you have to press on it and it's, it's very much so wet, moist, and it applied in my skin and absorbed very well. But I think that like if you have oily skin, I don't know if you can see it, has the potential to be slightly streaky, but the more you work with it, it's fine. Like the streaks go away, you pat it and it's fine. There's no streaks. But if you don't apply it right, you're gonna have horrible, horrible streaks. So you wanna make sure that if you use it, you blend it well, so no streaks. But I, I do like it. It does make my skin feel very dewy and moist and it did make it look pretty even. So. I have really no complaints about it other than that. So the next thing that I used was the eyebrow pencil. This did apply very easily. As you can see, I feel like it did a pretty good job of um, it making it look like I have brows. It, it, I have no complaints about this either. Okay, so the next thing that I used was this I or glitter liner. Now I only used this at the bottom of my lashes and I actually really like this. I think this would be really cute like on a day I don't want to wear um, top liner at all or anything major. Just line the eyes with this, throw on one mascara coat and be done with it. I think that would be very cute. I think it, the um, glitter in this is very fine. I don't find it overbearing. It's very um, What's the word? It's very much so micro and small. So I like the glitter in this. Then the liner here, I was very, very impressed with. It went on extremely smooth. I feel like this particular brand um, or this particular liner is very easy to control, very easy to do a fine tip as well as make it thicker. So this is an eyeliner I will definitely be using a lot and highly recommend. Probably that is probably one of my favorite things out of the items they sent and The next thing they sent was the mascara this mascara from Misha Very very nice. Absolutely love it. It will make your lashes have that nice thin wispy look and I do like that when I do light makeup and I feel like for for pre makeup their their makeup tends to be more natural, more about looking young and youthful and wispy like that. So I think this is really, really great and on brand for that particular makeup style. And then the lip tinted lip balm, this is really nice. It feels very moist. It doesn't feel waxy at all. This is definitely gonna be something I use a lot because it just, it feels really good, very wearable all day kind of thing. And that is all I have to say about these products. 
Now they did provide me with a code and I will have it on the screen as well as down below if you are interested in getting any of these. But other than that, that is the end of the video. Let me know what your thoughts are on these products, what you think of this look. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.